We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Chicago Cubs. Striding into the box, Kevin Newman. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Into the corner and slicing foul. Drives it out to deep right center field. Long run for the center fielder. But he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap. And it's a good start to the inning for the Bucks. It's a leadoff double. Batting seven. The left fielder. Adam Winfield. Into the box, Adam Frazier to one and two now. From the belt, the pitch hit hard down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. Struck him out. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. Reynolds. A 1-1. Two-one. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around him and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. The first base. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup batter, Josh Bell. As the switch hitter will take his cuts left-handed here. It's very difficult being a switch hitter, and very rarely do you see the same hitter from both sides of the plate. He's a far superior hitter from the left side as opposed to the right side. The ground ball to third, and they could get two. The second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Play Javier Baez. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1-1. It's taken for strike two. Keller he is just getting his big league pitching career underway, of course, but he did recently pick up his first and only win. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Seared down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Hit softly on the ground to third. He's got it. And there's one gone to start the night. So the base is empty here with one away. And that will bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. And he pops it up. Moran in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw gets him two down. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. Back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. At the plate now, Colin Moran. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first out. Here's Gregory Polanco. Hitless in four tries in the ball game yesterday. Polanco. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. Mm -hmm. 
And he fouls this one off. Another 1 2 delivery. I got to count 2 and 2. That's lifted the other way out to left. Schwarber will get there with ease as he puts it away for out number two. Up next for the Buckos, Kevin Kramer. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. The 1-1 is looked at for ball number two. Three one the count to the Pirates shortstop. Jacob Stallings would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. Settling in now, Jacob Stallings. Now the one and one pitch. Hit in the air down the left field line. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. the young catcher Wilson Contreras he was one of the stars from yesterday's game as he had three hits in the victory pulled high in the air out to left field Frazier is under this one one down Anthony Rizzo stands in now, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Now the one and one pitch is looked at off the plate for a ball. Fastball is looked at for strike two. Bottom of the second here with no score. Two two pitches fouled away. And he missed with it here, so now it's a full count, three and two. Kyle Schwarber is on deck. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. So in now for Chicago, Kyle Schwarber. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. 2 and 2 the count. Now here's the pitch. And he bangs it into center field for a base hit. center fielder. Into the box now, Ian Happ. Happ with a two and one count now. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Trying to nibble here and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And that'll hit off the ivy out there. Schwarber is on his way home. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Standing in now, Jason Kipnis. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. Hey, I'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Swing and a miss as he chases one out of the zone for the third strike, and that's the third out of the inning. And now it's the Pirates pitcher, Mitch Keller. Nine, one, and two do up. The one, one lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. 
Uh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Digging in, Kevin Newman. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. Adam Frazier will be next. Popped him up. Kipnis calls for it. Two gone. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. Adam Frazier. The one two. Misses ball two. Two out, nobody on. Swing and the ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Half is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Next cub up, Tyler Chatwood, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Cubs pitcher at the plate, trailing with a one and two count. Everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. Hit on the ground down the first baseline, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now to the plate, Javier Baez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Swing and a liner. That's his first base hit, making 1 for 2 now. So now to the plate, Jason Hayward. Counts even to Hayward, two balls and two strikes. Now a move over to first. And a dive, but he's back. The 2-2. Two -two. Turned on down the line. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Has a look, now the pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. There's one. Relay to Bell. The double play. And that's how the inning ends. All set for the start of the fourth. Striding in once again, Brian Reynolds. He'll swing it from the left side right here. The 1 1 home. Hey. This guy's been really on point so far, but it's not getting any easier. He has to get through four, five, and six right here. Got him. So that'll bring up Josh Bell. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And it's 1 and 2. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, pop back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. And Hayward will put this one away for route number two. Stepping into the box, the Colin Moran. He flew Colin. out in his last at bat. Moran. No runs, just one hit, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Swing and a liner. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. In now, Gregory Polanco. Three balls and a strike to Gregory Polanco. Time to wake up the offense right here. 3-1 count, all in on something over the heart of the plate. Fouled off. Moran leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring now position now with two Number away. 24. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. 
call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Schwarber will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. Yeah, Matty, his wheels got him in trouble a little bit last time. Tried to take advantage, thought the defense was napping a little bit. In retrospect, maybe he should have just shut it down and steal second base. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now the Cubs four-hole hitter, Wilson Contreras, fly down in his first at-bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. And he lays off for a ball, 2 and 1. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Contreras swings, and this is well hit to left. And that one is gone! At the plate, Anthony Rizzo. A ball and two strikes to Anthony Rizzo. Count still at one and two. Now here it comes. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. And the throw to first is there to record the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. Up high, two and one now. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Three and one to the Cubs' left fielder. Slap hard the opposite way. Frazier is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Now at the plate, Jacob Stallings. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one Number in the eighth or ninth three. inning. So it was a strikeout looking there. Jacob Stallings becomes the first out of the inning. Pirates pitcher at the plate with a 1-2 and two count. Is put in play to the right side of the infield. And that's the second out. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Kevin Newman. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The three-and-one pitch. Swing, and he pops him up. Kipnis ranging into shallow right. He can't get to it. This one's down. Now back. Left field. Stepping in now, Adam Frazier. This is on the ground over to first. On to the bag with it is Rizzo, and the inning is over. Now at the plate, Ian Happ. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get. Maybe. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Into the box, Jason Kipnis. Hit down the line at first. To two balls and two strikes now. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Heading out towards shallow right. 
Under this one is Polanco, and he's got it for the first down. Stepping in, Tyler Chatwood. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful the sacrifice. Here's Javier Baez, oh, yeah. runner in scoring position with oh, Sudan. Yeah. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Here's Jason Hayward now, and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Here now the 2-2 is looked at, and the count moves full. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Into the box now, Brian Reynolds comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 3 and 1 pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. The first baseman, number Josh five. Bell, the next to hit. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. It's two balls and a strike to Josh Bell. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. A runner at first with no outs here. And another foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2-2. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. Popped him up. Rizzo is under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Alec Mills will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Colin Moran. Colin Moran will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And this is drifting foul back into the stands. Runner at first here, one man out. Again, he sends it out of play. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire. And that's out number two. The right fielder, Gregory Polanco. A 1-1. His fastball taken high for a ball. Mills, a native of Tennessee. He was taken in the 22nd round during the first-year player draft of 2012. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar. but And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Your Nick Birdie please. enters to do the pitching now in the bottom of the sixth. Number 57. Ready for another shot now. Chris Bryant, a hit in two tries so far. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA. And what is he doing? He shows up. Rookie of the year. MVP. I mean, get in line. This is drilled, but right into the shift. And he got him at first on a ball that was already into left field. That's a heck of a play to get the first out. So here's the cleanup hitter, Wilson Contreras. He's one for two in this one. Drilled on the ground to short. Fielded cleanly. And there's out number two. 
And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. And he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kyle Schwarber. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Two balls and a strike now. From the stretch. Even count, two balls and two strikes. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my batting gloves, and tell myself there's no chance he's tripling up on that pitch. And it's fouled away. Another 2-2 offering. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. set for the start of the inning ready once again Kevin Kramer it was a fly out for him in his last trip even though we're moving into the back end of this game they're only down by a couple of runs you know that old slogan of bloop and a blast they could certainly use that right now Bob but that finds oh, the first the baseman's pick. glove and that's a the tough catcher. first out Jacob. one out nobody oh. on hard hit towards center Half is there, two gone. Jose Osuna will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. Jose Osuna. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. I think when a team starts struggling, certainly offensively, it's just guys try and play above their pay grade. Know who the best players are in the line. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Richard Rodriguez will come on in relief as he'll make his second appearance of the season so far. Richard. And that will bring in the Pittsburgh area native Ian Happ. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. The 2 1. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Here's the 3 2. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Now back, second baseman. Reset. To the plate now, Jason Kipnis. Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Fouls this one off. Down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Victor Caratini will get a chance with a runner in scoring position here as he'll pinch hit now with one away. And it's belted high and deep into right center. And that's going to be off the ivy covered wall. He pulls into second safely as a run will score on the play as well. At the plate now, Javier Baez comes shortstop with a three and one count. Now a 
swing and an easy fly ball out toward right center. Reynolds is there now, and he has it. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. now so that'll bring up Jason Hayward. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1. Takes a pass and misses. That's Nelson strike two. Washington. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to attack on any more runs. Let's see if he attacks his own or buries something in the dirt. Misses. Ball two. Two out here and a runner at second. Swung on and missed. And that's the final out of the inning. Craig Kimbrell has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth. So the Pirates batting order turns over and set to go. Kevin Newman, he singled his last time up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Someone on this offense needs to take it upon themselves to have a quality A-B and start the line moving again. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Now a swing and a fly ball. Hayward on the run, and no one will track it down. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Once again, a 3-2. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Stepping up to the plate, Adam Frazier. He was a ground-out victim last time up. The 2-1 home is laid off of for ball number three got to find a way to scratch at least one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Schwarber is over to his right and he puts this one away for out number two. Stepping up now, Brian Reynolds. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And the 2-1. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. The third baseman will have a look at it, but this is back into the seats. Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning. Michael Feliz is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 45, Michael Here's Chris Bryant now. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here now the 2-2. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. Now at the plate, Wilson Contreras. He was a ground out victim last time up. Rip down the line. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. Crowd gets up for the 3-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Two out, nobody on. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Wanted to go after the slider, but he holds off three and one. 
Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get in a more favorable. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Back goes Polanco. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. Now back. The left fielder. Mario. Warbo. Standing in now, Kyle Schwarber. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Fastball laid off well below the knees. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. And he lost him here on three two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Number eight. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Ian Happ trying to keep it going. A perfect three for three thus far. The one one is swung on and missed for strike number two. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two. Ball. Two men are on with two men out. Swing and a miss got him reaching. Stallings is after it, and the throw to first ends the inning. Dan Winkler comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. And batting in the fifth. Striding in to start the ninth, Josh Bell, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. They look like they're up against it here, down three on the road, trying to come back against the closer. Drilled right back up the middle. Hap scoops it up. At the plate, Colin Moran. And this is low, ball two. Two and one. Rip down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Lifted in the air out to center field. Half will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So a runner at first now with one away and the left-handed hitting outfielder Gregory Polanco bats next. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Back up the middle. Baez has it. Kipnis on to first and he rolls a double play ball to end it here as this ball game is over. Yeah, and they end this thing with style, turning that double play to preserve the win. That's what we call finishing strong. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. Chicago took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Tyler Chatwood gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Dan Winkler wraps it up for the save, his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is the final line score tonight. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left eight men on base. For the Pirates, no runs, four hits, one error. They left eight runners on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 33 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Wrigley Field, 41,649. As always, we thank you for your support of Chicago Cubs baseball and remind you to please drive home safely.